So after all the sniping and all the luck that I got in packs, we finally have our God Squad in NBA 2K17. And one of the things that I love this year is the fact that 2K keeps releasing so much content. Which means that you might have a great team right now, but a month from now you might have an even better team. I don't usually do lineup updates, but I do want to start doing them right now. That way we can see the progress throughout the year in NBA 2K17. But let's get started with my God Squad so far in NBA 2K17. And comment down below your God Squad. Let me know your favorite card, let me know your lineup, let me know your favorite point guard, shooting guard, all that good stuff. And as my starting point guard, I need someone that can play defense, can score, and also be a great floor general for my starters. And that, of course, is Pink Diamond Isaiah Thomas. Now, this card I ended up getting from Blacktop. It took me a lot of games to finally get this card, and I can tell you right now that he's definitely worth it. And our next player, our starting shooting guard, should not be a surprise to anybody that follows me on Twitch and also on YouTube. You already know we gotta have the Black Mamba himself, Kobe Bean Bryant, at the shooting guard position. This card is just amazing. He he can do everything. He can play defense. He can drive. He can shoot. He can post fade away. And he also is my favorite player of all time. And to continue the theme of being able to do everything at small forward position, we have another player that can play defense. He can shoot. He can drive. He can rebound. He can do it all basically. And that of course is Michael Finley. This card is one of the best small forwards, if not the best small forward in the game in my opinion. If you saw Michael Finley's debut on YouTube that I did a while back, he ended up scoring over 90 points in one game. And like I said earlier, I feel like Michael Finley is the best small forward Amethyst right now in the game. And then at the fourth position, I need someone that can stretch the floor. I love playing small ball. And I found one of the best players that can not only shoot, but also play in the post. This guy has a great post fadeaway, a great release, and an even better three-pointer. And that, of course, is Larry Johnson. This guy, man, I'm telling you, is one of the easiest shots in the game right now. This guy averages so many three-pointers for me. Like, if he's wide open, I'm not gonna miss. And just in case I do start missing, because with 2K, you never really know, I can just go into the post. This guy has an amazing post fadeaway. And again, a really easy release, so it's definitely money. Now at the center position, we need someone that can just throw it down at any given time. I need someone that I can give the ball to and just score at will. Someone dominant, one of the most dominant centers of all time and that of course is Shaquille O'Neal in my opinion one of the most dominant centers if not the most dominant tenor of all time. Although I do consider Will Chamberlain one of the most dominant players of all time as well, Shaq, I ended up growing up watching him with the Lakers. Shaq and Kobe ended up giving me three rings for my Lakers, back to back to back. And I still can't wait until the day that 2K blesses me and gives me a dynamic duel between Kobe and Shaq. So that's the starting lineup already. We got Pink Diamond Isaiah Thomas, Amethyst Kobe Bean Bryant, Amethyst Michael Finley, Diamond Larry Johnson, and Diamond Shaq. If you guys think you have a better starting lineup, let me know down in the comments below. And off the bench, I need a team that can match the energy from the starters, someone that can keep the lead or even extend it. And my backup point guard was between Ruby John Wall and Ruby Kyrie. But after playing with this card in empty battles, Kyrie Irving definitely deserves my backup point guard position. This guy's a 90 overall, which should be an amethyst. The reason why he's a 90 and not an 89 is because of the shoe that I gave him. This guy pretty much averages 20 points, and that's off the bench. He averages more than my starters. And next up, at the backup shooting guard position, I needed a shooting guard that I could just give the ball to and just pull up from anywhere. And obviously, one of the best catch-and-shoot shooting guards out in the game right now is going to be Klay Thompson. Not only does this card have a great three-pointer, but he also has a great release. If Klay Thompson is wide open, I'm going to be green-lighting that release 10 out of 10. And next up, off the bench, I need a player that can be a leader. Although Kyrie Irving is a great point guard, I need an even bigger leader, a great floor general, a great driver, a decent shooter, and that, of course, is the king, LeBron James. Now this card, man, although I don't like his free throw, he can still shoot from three. He has a great mid-range and can also drive to the basket at will, man. This card cannot be stopped. Anytime you give a decent shot to LeBron, he's definitely one of the best cards you can get in NBA 2K. And you already know I love running small ball. I love having a stretch four at the power four position. And this card actually just recently came out and that, of course, is gonna be the Durantula, Kevin Durant. Another 90 overall that's a ruby. Again, it's with the shoe, but we can Continue the same thing as we did with the starters. We need someone that can stretch the floor. Someone that I can trust to make a three-pointer when I need it. Kevin Durant definitely is one of the best stretch fours in the game right now. And off the bench, I need a center that can pretty much shoot from anywhere from the three-point line, from the mid-range, from the post. Anywhere that I can get open on the floor, I need to be able to have a center that can just spot up and shoot the ball. And that, of course, is going to be DeMarcus Cousins. Now, this card is one of the best stretch fives that you can buy in the game right now. You don't even have to get the Amethyst, man. You can get the Ruby, you can get the Sapphire, you can even get the Emerald one. 
I keep saying this about a lot of my players, but DeMarcus Cousins, in my opinion, out of all the centers that I've ever played with, has the best release. I always love having players that have easy releases, because then that way, if I give them the ball, I can feel confident, and I know for a fact, if I'm wide open, I'm gonna make the shot. But there you guys have it. That right now is my God Squad so far in NBA 2K17. I may not have as many diamonds as other people, but I don't even need all those diamonds. And anytime that I can play with some of my favorite players like Kobe, Shaq, and Kyrie, I'm definitely gonna be having fun out there, even though 2 2K can be frustrating at times. It really does help playing with players that you just enjoy watching and also just enjoy playing with in any 2K. And if you guys are feeling a little extra confident, let me know down in the comments below your PSN if you want to play me. I might end up picking a random subscriber to play with, that way I can debut this God Squad. But again guys, smash that like button for me if you enjoyed the video and you want to see me play one of the subscribers. Subscribe to join Squad XC if you haven't already and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.